This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Scalpel. Or if you've watched the movie, Scalpel is known as the Doctor. Um, he is part of Wave 3, or Wave 2 in your country. Uh, in our country, he's Wave 3 of the uh, Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class uh, subline. Now, uh, before we begin, I would like to say, if you're planning to buy this figure, I will give a warning. I haven't opened up my, my ransack, but this guy is perhaps one of the most fragile figures out there. And I will tell you why. When you buy your figure, be very careful in articulating the legs. Because the ball joint sockets are made of the brittlest plastic on earth. I actually cracked mine open, this one, with this joint, trying to articulate it, and it is now loose as hell. Uh, this one is about a crack as well. It's still tight right now, but just be very careful when you're articulating this joint. And, and, and you might, you know, if you do crack it open, there's very little you can do. I've put some super glue, but it, it's worthless now. I might have to just use a lot of nail polish on the ball joints itself to just tighten it up. But it is... It is very fragile, so I will give you that warning, and just be very careful, okay? Uh, this is not the official robot transformation. Well, it is sort of, but I've sort of changed the way the legs appeared, because the original transformation, as is said on the box, I hope I don't get into trouble by showing the box very quickly. Uh, it looks like that. All the legs are pointed inward. I mean, they're just like, it's like a claw grasping on it and when I opened him up I, I thought like oh my god all my fears were right about this figure this has a crappy crappy insect mode robot mode until I figured out how to rearrange the the joints and make it look like this like sort of like a praying mantis type or an ant type uh, of insect which which again redeemed it for me I mean despite its frailty and supposed robot mode that looked corny and stupid it did redeem itself and I think I'm going to display him this way Set of microscope mode, and uh, I'm very pleased with him. If if I can find some another scalpel that has gone on sale or cheap, or somebody's just trying to give it away uh, as a secondhand figure, and it's still got the joints in, in good condition, I might end up buying it. Or in a couple of months, if this thing goes on clearance, I will probably end up buying another one just for the sheer, uh, you know, uniqueness and novelty of this design. And maybe just because I broke some of the joints, I just need another replacement. But other than that, this is a wonderful, wonderful figure. And I, I, I could not recommend it anymore. I mean, this is a highly recommended figure. If you're going to buy just one Scout class, right now, I, because I haven't reviewed R Ransack, I might recommend him over Ransack. But we'll, we'll see. A lot of people seem to like Ransack. So if, if you're going to get two, one or two, Ransack or this guy is a good choice. Uh, the other scouts are great, don't get me wrong. Uh, I, again, as I said, I have not been disappointed with any of the scouts. And this guy just proves my point. He, is, he just continues to amaze me uh, as I look at him. I, I like him. Now he's more movie accurate than that uh, claw, claw legs uh, type of transformation. So, you, you, uh, go, uh, I'm, right now I'm giving permission for everyone to copy this. Uh, if this pose will save this figure for you, then by all means copy this this pose because this is just amazing. Uh, if you bend the lower limbs on the flat end, if you face the flat end uh, upward, and you can bend it in, uh, you can bend this one in the most allowable uh, range or angle. But if you if you keep it on this one, it just bends. If you keep it on the edge, it just bends slightly. So it's really up to you. I mean, try all sorts of combination on this figure, and you know, based on your preference. Now he is the doctor in the movie. He is responsible for. There he has two crucial scenes in the movie. I'm not going to give spoilers now, but if you've watched the movie, you'll know that he's a, he plays a very important role. So he is probably. Oh, I think right now, the only Scout class uh, figure that appeared on the movie. Uh, he's a doctor. His bio says that he's like a quack doctor because the Decepticons would rather suffer in silence and have him treat them. Uh, he knows all sorts of information about uh, uh, all types of techno-organic or organic uh, species in the universe. So, he's very nice, very movie accurate. His head sort of reminds you of Wheelie. Uh, he's got these two ant cockroach antennas or 
and like antennas which are transparent his hands are made of transparent plastic which is quite a surprise for me but I guess they had to make it translucent transparent translucent to make it a little bit more flexible and rubbery because in transform you're going to need to be flexible so enough of this figure one last 360 and then let's get him into microscope mode very nice very nice I'm, I'm just really digging this figure. Oh, one more turn for those of you who missed it. I mean, just look at it. Even the back view is great. He's a really an insect. The, the articulation I, I've done on him really saved this figure for me. Okay, to transform him, you start with the upper torso. Uh, split open this, this lower uh, panels. Um, and then you will do the arms later. Just fold the arms neatly right now. Okay, this way. Okay, and the instructions don't say this, but this is what you got to do so you don't get frustrated. You have to position these guys, uh, these panels up, and then collapse them down. The instructions do not say that. You have to collapse them down. They just say flip them up. So figure the, the transformation on your own. It'll probably save you some time rather than reading the instructions. So just, and then the, the uh, his eyes uh, just go into those two panels that you've just transformed. There you go move it up and then fold in the arms and this is the reason they made it translucent so it's flexible enough so you can s squeeze it in with great difficulty okay there you go and then pull him out uh, when when you transform him back okay then what you want to do is just move the legs away okay uh, rotate oops okay rotate oh sorry that's what I'm saying it's loose Wait, so you're supposed to rotate it first, that this way, and then you can fold them up. Open, open the uh, these two panels, and then lift this guy, lift this guy's torso up and lock. Uh, fold it in. The Decepticon insignia becomes, I think, the lens. Uh, like, no, no. Uh, okay. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Okay. There you go. This the Decepticon emblem becomes a lens. And now transforming the legs is kind of cool. You just have to move the left set of legs backward, and then move these panels forward, and slide them up, and then to transform the legs, be very very gentle. I hope I have enough time to show this. The spikes should be facing upward. So that they close in this way. Same thing here. Spikes facing out, and then close. Spikes facing upward, and then close. Okay. And then these two will just do the same thing. These three. Okay. The longest transformation for a deluxe class figure. I apologize. Okay. Okay. And there you have it. It just folds neatly. I'm, I'm just so impressed with this transformation. And they do sort of lock and tab into place in some bits here and there. Uh, when you try and... Oh! There goes the joint. Okay. And then just fold this lower part. It's this last panel down. And there you have Scalpel in his... Uh, I've mistransformed this guy. I just know it. Uh... Electron microscope mode. Uh. Oh, okay. Huh. He's supposed to be. Uh, huh. Wait, let me just figure this one out. Yeah, it's supposed to be this way. Um, what am I doing wrong? Oh, okay. He's supposed to be... Uh, okay, this way. This way. Okay. Okay. And there you have him in microscope mode. Finally! Sorry for the lengthy transformation, but this, again, as I said, this is a very, very fragile figure. I don't, you don't want to mess him up. Whoops, I forgot to put in the antenna in. Uh, do we have time? Yes. 
Uh, just just fold in the antenna. And there you have him. Transform. Revenge of the Fallen Scalpel. Thanks for watching.